Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing lesson 2, evaluating function. Let's have the lesson objective. At the end of this lesson, you are able to evaluate function. Let's have the definition of evaluating a function. It means replacing the variable in the function. In this case, x with a value from the function's domain and computing for the result. So, to denote that we are evaluating f at a for some a in the domain of f. So, we write as f of a. So, take note class that the keyword here in evaluating a function is replacing the variable in the function with a value from the function's domain and computing, of course, for the result okay let's have function notation it is a way a function is written so the function notation y is equal to f of x tells you that y is a function of x if there is a rule relating y to x such uh, such as y is equal to 2x minus 1, then we can write this as uh, f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. So f here is the name of a function, of course, and x here is the input or the x values, and 2x minus 1 is the output, okay? Or it is pertains to range or the y values, the result, okay? Let's have example number 1. Evaluate the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 4 at x is equal to 3. Okay, so let's have the solution. Yes, you are going to write the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 4. Then, of course, the value of x here is equal to 3. So the 3 here, you are going to substitute these two x variables. So therefore, we have f of 3 is equal to, so 2 times 3, x here is 3, plus 4. Then of course, you are going to simplify. So 2 times 3 here is equal to 6, plus 4. So 6 plus 4, of course, that is equal to 10. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 10. So the answer is, here's the answer here is 10. Okay? Example number 2. Evaluate a function. For the following functions at x is equal to 2.5. Okay. Letter A, we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Letter B, q of x is equal to uh, x squared minus 2x plus 2. The letter C, we have g of x is equal to square root of x minus 1.5 and letter d r of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 let's have letter a f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 so again the x is equal to 2.5 of course 2.5 is substituted to x variable. So we have f of x, uh, f of 2.5 is equal to 2 times. So x here is 2.5. So substitute 2.5. So variable x plus 1. Then of course simplify. So 2 times 2.5 is equal to 5. Then plus 1. So 5 plus 1. The answer is 6. So f of 2.5 is equal to 6. That's the answer. Okay. Next, we have letter B. So we have a function uh, q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. Again, the x value here is 2.5. So 2.5 is will be substituted to the variable x so we get 
k of 2.5 is equal to x here is 2.5 so 2.5 square minus 2 times 2.5 plus 2 so x here substituted by 2.5 here is 2.5 so therefore simplify so the square of 2.5 is 6.25 then 2 times 2.5 is 5 so we have your negative so negative 5 plus 2 so 6.25 minus 5 plus 2 that is equal to 3.25 therefore q of 2.25 is equal to 3.25 this is the answer okay next letter C we have a function g of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1.5 so again x here is 2.5 okay so substitute two x variables here this one is x Okay, so therefore g of 2.25 of 2.5 is equal to square root of 2.5 minus 1.5 so what is 2.5 minus 1.5 yes that is equal to 1 so we have a square root of 1 and the square root of 1 is yes 1 therefore g of 2.5 is equal to 1 the answer here is 1 okay Okay, for the next, the letter D, we have a function R of X is equal to 2X plus 1 all over X minus 1. So, the value of X here is, of course, 2.5. Yes, so teach 2.5 to variable X. To the variable X. So, we have here, okay, so R of 2.5. So, we have 2 times 2.5 because x 2 times x here so substitute x of 2.5 plus 1 all over x here substitute here okay so 2.5 minus 1 then simplify so 2 times 2.5 here 2 times 2.5 is 5 plus 1 we have here 6 so 0.5 minus 1 is 1.5 then divide 6 divide 1.5 so that is equal to 4 therefore the answer here is 4 r of 2.5 is equal to 4 okay okay let's have example number 3 so the given here is g of x equal to the square root of x minus 1 and r of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 we are going to find g of negative 4 and r of 1 so first we are going to get uh, g of negative 4 so the name of the function here is g of course we use um, yes this one g of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1 we use this function g function okay so yes we have here g of negative 4 is equal to the square root of negative 4 minus 1 we are going to replace negative 4 to the variable x here okay replace then simplify square root of negative 4 minus 1 so we have here negative 5 so we have square root of negative square root of negative 5 g of negative 4 is equal to the square root of negative 5 is this, is this our final answer or is the answer acceptable or the answer is possible okay let's find out yes this is not possible why because negative 4 is not in the domain of g of x okay Okay, next we are going to find r of 1 so since the name of the function is r we get or we use r of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 
we are going to use this uh, function to find r of 1 okay so substitute 1 to the variable x so we get r of negative 1 of r of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 substitute so um, 1 to the variable x okay so plus 1 and x minus 1 here so x becomes 1 so 1 minus 1 then simplify so 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 3 okay 3 then 1 minus 1 is uh, 0 then 3 divide 0 is okay so this is undefined so 3 divided by 0 is undefined. So what does it mean? It means that in the domain 1 or the x value 1 is not the domain of the function uh, r of x equal to x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Okay? Therefore, the, our answer here is undefined. Okay? Okay, let's have example number 4. So this is a piecewise function. If f of x is equal to x squared plus 5, if x is less than 0, and 5x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0. So we are going to find f of negative 2 and f of 4. So first, in letter A, f of negative 2 the x value here is negative 2. So, which function we are going to use? x squared plus 5 or 5x minus 1? Yes, we are going to use x squared plus 5. Why? Because in letter A, the x value here is negative 2. The negative 2 is included in this condition. x is less than 0. Okay, so what numbers are less than 0? Of course, the negative numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on and so forth. So therefore, we use the first function in letter A. Okay, so we have here f, f of x equal to x squared plus 5. Then substitute uh, negative 2 to variable x. Substitute negative 2. Then simplify. So negative 2 is squared. So that is positive 4. Because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Plus 5. So 4 plus 5. That is equal to 9. Therefore, f of negative 2 is equal to 9. This is the answer. How about letter B? Here the letter B. So, f of 4. So, the x value here is 4. So, what function we are going to use? x squared plus 5 or 5x minus 1? Yes, 5x minus 1. Why? Because x value here is 4. So, the condition if x greater than or equal to 0. And what numbers are greater than 0? Of course, the positive uh, numbers. Therefore, we use the second function for letter B. So, we have here 5x. Uh, f of x is equal to 5x minus 1. Then, we have substitute 4 to variable x. Okay, so substitute. Then simplify. So 5 times 4 is 20. Then minus 1. So 20 minus 1 is equal to 19. Okay. So therefore f of 4 is equal to 19. The final answer is 19. Okay. Example number 5. Let f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 3 and g of x equal to 2x plus 3. 
find each of the following letter A, F of 2B, letter B, G of A plus 1. Okay, so for letter A, we are going to use the function uh, f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 3y because in letter E here, the name of the function here is f. Okay, so next, yes, substitute 2b here, 2b to variable x, and x becomes 2b, then x here becomes. 2b then simplify so we get so here 2b the quantity of 2b squared this is equal to 4b squared so 2 raised to 2 is 4 and b raised to 2 that is b squared then 5 times 2 it is equal to 10 so 10b then minus 3. So this is now the final answer. So we have here f of 2b is equal to 4b squared plus 10b minus 3. Okay, for letter b, so we have here g of a plus 1. So what function we're going to use? Yes, we can, uh, we are going to use g of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So the name of the function here is g, therefore we use g of x. Next, yes, uh, sim substitute a plus 1, the variable x. Okay, so this one x, so it becomes a plus 1 then this one we are going to simplify so we have here uh, 2 times a is equal to 2a 2, 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus 3 then combine similar terms therefore we get 2a plus 5 because 2 plus 3 here is equal to 5 so the final answer we have here g of a plus 1 is equal to 2a plus 5 so the answer is 2a plus 5 okay class so for the references here are the references of our discussion for today and thank you god bless everyone